Hi, I'm Teresa Collins, and I'm a little obsessed with ring binders right now. I don't know what it is, but I love things that lift up. And so today's project that I want to show you that I created is this is the ring binders. These are the Tim Holtz ones that I absolutely am in love with. And so I love that Tim did these. You get two to a package. You can kind of see they come like this. And so what I did with mine was a little different. This is actually a canvas panel. So it's just really like a canvas art panel. You can kind of see, I mean, nothing special, but I really, what I loved about it is how thick it was. And I love that you're literally gonna take your ring binder. And what I did is I used my hot glue gun. I put hot glue on the back and I literally glued it right on top of the canvas. It was that simple. So when you look at this book, this is my new collection, Summer Stories. And um, one thing that I love when I'm doing something like this is it's all about the layers, the dimension. And so I purposely cut my papers to have lots of dimension, to have lots of flaps, lots of photos. Um, and so what I wanted to show and um, what I really love to do is to kind of show you like a little bit of how I do my book projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just show you the rest of these so you can see where we have little pockets and, and different things and kind of show you how I kind of my thought process with this. Okay, so we have this cute little adorable thing that lifts up and I'm just going to put it to the side. Now, one of the things that when you're dealing with pattern paper, and I have loved, I have designed thousands of papers in my, um, in my career. And one of the things that I love to do is to take paper and to design it so that you can, at a very affordable cost, create something that doesn't necessarily look that it cost, you know, it doesn't cost a lot of money, but it kind of looks like there's a lot to it. So I love that. And so I wanted to show, this is just one of the papers from the line. This is, um, it's just like the little cards. And I love that the little bingo cards have all the different little words. But if you cut each of these out, you have 20 bingo cards. You could use them for cards. You could use them for, you know, really anything. But for one sheet of paper, you have created you have all of these little all of these little fun little things and so if you're a card maker or if you're like me and you have mini books you could put these anywhere throughout your book um, you could corner around them and so when i am designing i'm all the time thinking of how can i add more dimension and still make it affordable okay so the other thing i wanted to show is collage papers are so popular and I always have at least one in every line that I create. So I thought it would be nice to show you kind of a little bit how you can use this and how I did it in this book. So really simply, you're gonna take it and you could use your scissors, but a lot of times I know some people may look at this paper and go, well, what could I do with that? Yeah, I could put a photo on it, but when I design it, when I use it, I look at it as, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I look at this as like eight elements or cards or pages on its own. So let me show you what I would do. So I take it and with my cutter, you're just gonna take it. Now, here's the thing. When you're dealing with the collage paper, it doesn't have to be perfect. And so, and since I'm being so quick, I'll just show you. I've got one bingo card you can see. That was my cover there, right there, okay? So then you can look and I can see right here, I know that I wanted to have this cute one right here. So again, I'm just gonna take my trimmer and I'm going to cut out that element individually. Now, sometimes you may have to cut off a couple little pieces or you know, just to make it work and depending on who's designed the paper and how they've done that. Now mine's a little off just because I, I went a little too far on this, but if I had my scissors here, you would see I would just cut this off. I'm just gonna trim this off like this. So now I have two. Now, and you can tell like, it, sometimes it doesn't line up perfectly and that's completely okay. So now I'm gonna do a third one right here. And it's right here. And in my book, if you're going through the book, you're gonna be able to see all of these bits and pieces 
and it adds so much volume from one sheet of paper. Now I love this little claim ticket here. So I'm going to do the same thing and see where it may not be all the way even and that is okay. You're just going to take it and you're going to use your trimmer and you can decide how many tags, how many things that you want to get from that one sheet of paper. So when I see collage papers and when I design them, I think to myself, what could I do with that? Especially if you're like me, I love to create mini books. I love to create things that have lots of layers and dimension. So when you're cutting it, you're getting all of these little pieces from one sheet of paper. Here you go, you can see this. And this, I didn't cut it all the way through, so I'll just take that there. So there's another one. For this one, how it lined up, you would just take it, trim off that little top, and then you have a cute little claim ticket. So look what I've got so far. I have, and let me just trim this off so that it doesn't look very simply. So when I design, I look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven pieces of ephemera and really cool artwork from one sheet of paper. So when I design this book, and I'm telling you, these flip-ups are amazing. What I would suggest is make sure if you're using the, the ring binders, just make sure that you have visual interest. Like you can see where I have all kinds of fun stuff. And these are just my papers from the line that I scored. You know, you can take the tags here, score it along the left side, make a lift up. That way you can add photos. You can add your own little personality. There, there's the other one, corner round. That is one of my favorite things to do. I like to take my tags and corner around them and they just look so good and you can add those to your project and I promise you if you look at collage papers and think of it as like how could I cut this out? How could I add this to all my mini books? You are going to get a lot for you know an affordable price. I hope you enjoyed today's show.